<laughs> What's up, guys? We back with another one. You know, we got pure swar. We about to get into this favorite art. So, what was y'all favorite arc? This is a hard one because I like a one arc before the time skip, and I love almost every arc after the time skip, mainly because of all of their uh, upgrades and everything. So you like all the arts. <laughs> Pretty much is what, is what this nigga just started. I said one arc before the time skip and then the rest of the arcs. But well, uh, well, my well, favorite well, one that always gets my mind is the uh Dress Rosa arc. Yes. I I love how it was everybody was fighting. It was just everybody could show their best abilities at the time. And I think after Fishman Island, because Fishman Island, they was just like, <laughs> this is right after the two year skip, and it just shows all their strength, how powerful they are. It's like all the fishmen were just like, yeah, fish, I'm gonna chop you up and eat you. <laughs> but then Dress Rosa was really like a challenge where they had to actually use all their real strength and grow at the same time. I kind of had one for, for pre time skip and one post time skip. My pre time skip is Marine Ford. I think there's no other arc. Yeah. That John, man, that John hurts, man. Yeah. Can we? Yeah. That's your favorite one. You want you like seeing Ace die, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's great <laughs> cinema. I said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's great cinema. Uh, and after after that is uh, Dress Rose. I'm not even gonna hold you. Uh, yeah. For me, it's different though. You know, y'all y'all got. For me, it was that was the moment where I really uh, found Law, and I thought Law was really cool. Was in that arc. And I, I, I always go back. Yeah, you saw like if you was your soulmate. <laughs> Before, I never thought was that cool until like once we really started seeing more of him. I said, "Oh wait, this nigga is actually cool." Like yeah, the stuff he's doing and stuff, and then you get his backstory, and then you see how how much he wanted to kill Doflamingo, and uh, how like to me that cemented like like the the relationship between Law and Luffy is when they were willing to die with each other to fight Dofi. Like that was the that was the thing that that changed it all for them. That 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 cemented it right there when they both knew we can go into combat. You're the only one I can really trust when it gets to shit like this. You know what I mean? You're the only other captain I that I know I can put my life on the line with, and we can walk away with a win. You know what I mean? Like he said it. You know I, I bet all my faith in the Luffy beating uh, Doflamingo, and if Dolph and Doflamingo kills Luffy, I gotta be here to die with him. You know what I mean? And uh, Cavendish was like, well, if, if that happens, he'll have to get through me. Like, if he can actually stop Doflamingo, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, just to me, it was like that That arc had it all. The Grand Fleet was just like the, at the end. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. oh, you <laughs> love the damn Grand Fleet. <laughs> yeah, I do. I think that's tough. I think that's tough that you got a whole army of people. With and you couldn't even ask for them. You didn't even ask yeah. for them. Willing to pull up if I call you. Like to me, that's tough. You need stuff like that to be Pirate King. Yeah, no, I, that, I think that was what also one of my favorite arcs too was Dress Rosa. I like Dress Rosa and I like Whole Cake. <laughs> Those are like my two favorite arcs. I hate Whole Cake because they made Sanji attack Luffy. I'm like, that was like got, Luffy didn't fight back. I wanted Luffy to murder Sanji when he did that. <laughs> And he has some force in that, mur that murder. <laughs> yeah, don't disrespect your captain like freaking Usopp did. Like I like Whole Cake, too. I think Brooke had cool moments in Whole Cake. And I think Katakuri, like the whole Katakuri shit is like you can't sleep on that. Like that I Katakuri, mean, that shit kind of dragged on. Like it was a cool fight, but it was like, okay, Luffy. Like, come on, dog. The fight that dragged on was cracker. That fight did not need to be that long. The Katakuri was just the route amount of time. That nigga was strong. Luffy well, you gotta think about it too. Is like, it's Luffy. He sees food in front of him, and then he has to defeat an enemy. So he's like, "Damn, I'm distracted." Like, this man <laughs> blackers in front of me, biscuits or whatever. Like, I think it was cool because Katakuri was the closest thing that we were, we're possibly going to see to Luffy's fruit, and in terms of like stretching, in terms of like utilizing it similarly, and uh, mm -hmm. I thought that was cool. Well, you mean more like uh like of his gears, basically? Yeah. Yeah. And I think that was the closest we're going to see to Luffy versus someone similar to him. And I think Katakuri brought that fight to him where even Luffy learned some shit from that fight. You know, the future sight thing. Luffy learned that from seeing Katakuri do that shit. Yeah, so he got, so he he got past Katakuri to get the future sight. So, uh, I mean, to me, he was the best thing in Whole Cake was Katakuri. Like, that whole fight, that was it. 
Like after that, it was like, all right. Yeah. Big, you didn't like the part where Big Mom kept talking about she wanted a cake and it was like destroying everything. You like, was, you didn't like that? Trash. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> throw it away. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. I liked the, the half of the comedy in there. I thought you were going to mention like the Germa Six and how they almost got killed. I, I would have been like, oh, yeah, I mean, that was a cool little scene where they almost got killed by. You're going to bring up Big Mom and the cake and the, 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 the scene I threw out. I know, right? Like, what, what's wrong with that? Like, yo, like, she really just said, fuck everybody. Get the fuck out of my way. I want cake. It was like, what? Like, I felt at the captain. Like she really was willing to give up everything for fucking cake. She didn't care about her town. She didn't care about her crew. I, don't know, I just thought that was funny. I was like, "Yo, this old hag is is crazy. Like, she really is crazy." She wanted the KFC chicken special. And then, <laughs> and then That's all I gathered from that shit. It's like, you know what I mean? Big Mom. Big Mom has never made me go, "Oh yeah, that's an emperor." You know what I mean? Big Mom's always like, "Come on, man. Come on, like." She's pretty, she's I, I also think she's pretty strong. I mean, I don't know. I just think she's. Strong. I mean, I mean, she's strong, but I don't. I I feel like she was forcibly made strong. I just don't like her character. I guess that's where I'm at with her character as well. So I mean, I do got whole cake number two though in terms of the time skip. I think whole cake was. Uh, I have to reevaluate where I got Wano. I kind of was gonna pick Wano for my favorite arc too, just because. Yeah, a bad take. yeah just because. Well, where the manga's at, you know, we got Never to see. Luffy's yeah, <laughs> gone, you know, like we we seen mm-hmm. Luffy jump. So I was like, yes, uh-huh. that was dope. Mm-hmm. 10 times better than Snake Man. That was like the last, I think that was like the last form we actually seen him like change into, you know, which was in the cake. Mm-hmm. But Dress Rosa, I think with the, the with the toys and like the little people and then you got Leo, like there was so much different things going on. You had the Coliseum fight. There was a lot yeah. of going on. And I actually had respect for Usopp in Dress Rosa, not in Wano. I'm just like, in Wano, like, what, did, what did Usopp do? No, no, no. He, yeah, really he tried to be Nami, hide behind her, and started talking some stuff. That's that's like, like yeah, he barely did anything in Wano, and that's why I was just like, yeah, Dress Rosa. Everybody had to show their power. Everybody had to yeah. show why they're uh, allowed to be a part of the true Pirate King's crew. Yeah, the Sabo reveal, even the Sabo reveal in, in Dress Rosa was. Yeah. Pretty, was I mean, we still could have done without that. Uh, I mean, that was kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, I, we could have done without Sabo, period. But yeah, that was, that was dope. Yeah. They should have just left him dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, are you kidding me? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, man. He forgot the it. Oh. Sabo scene is when he gets the newspapers and then like it falls to the ground. I'm like, oh! <laughs> 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 and then I'm like, oh! Everybody, what's going oh, on? I just start cracking up every time I see that shit. Like that's the best scene is when he first gets that newspaper and realizes that's his brother. It has a heart attack and shit. It's like <laughs> And the crazy part is he's seen their wanted posters before, both Luffy and freaking Aces, and then he reacts after Ace dies. It's like, all right. This was just forced. Like, you would have thought, I mean, shit, we don't know how it is to lose memory or whatever, but it's like still like you 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 should have oh so he just thought these were regular people, you know. It's like, no, those are your brothers. But now that he's dead, like Tony did, it's like, Ooh. It's like, oh, so now you remember him now that he's. Dead. <laughs> and I thought the scene with Luffy crying on him, that shit was funny and shit too. Oh, it's oh yeah. yeah, but yeah, that that whole dress Rosa arc, it was you know, it was pretty cool. Yeah, all right, all right. So dress Rosa is everybody's favorite, apparently. 